Yo, what's good, you two? We got another Jubilees. Who lost their V card first? Women rank themselves. Hey, this about to get interesting. But looking at this little uh, picture right here, I can already tell probably who. But then again, I could be wrong. Hit that sub button. Let's get into the video. I'll piggyback off of that one. Did they know that you were a virgin? Yeah, mine did. Uh, mine too. Yeah, mine did. Mine did. Okay. Hmm. Okay, you two switch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a theory that I look like I've like seen a thing or two. Yeah, I feel I like it's been her. seeing a thing or two for a but while. I could be wrong. But I, I was gonna say I think the same is true of you. I would <laughs> even put you like ahead of me. I, lo I but I love your aesthetic anyway. I think I expected people to think that I'm into like hardcore like stuff like that and have had yeah. a really colorful past. You look I like can you see that. I can see that. <laughs> I love that. That's the goal. <laughs> I think I should go in your spot. No. Her. Okay. Yes, She's right. <laughs> oh, right at the front. <laughs> Not on the front. In, the, in my spot. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I would switch places with you yeah, and okay, go in yeah. the middle. <laughs> Just somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I feel as though you should be back here. I think you're the quiet achiever. I think so. I think yeah. Usually, yeah. So I, I would say like even yeah, maybe even at the front here. <laughs> yes. Even based on appearance, I think I would actually put you ahead of me. Okay. I have a feeling that you shouldn't be that far down. Me? You should pop down somewhere in like here. I no? don't feel like, yeah. I don't know where to position myself. <laughs> I'd say maybe towards the middle, right over here. Okay. I don't know where to put myself, so I'm just gonna leave it, maybe? I don't know. I feel like she's very confident yeah, in the fact that she she's gonna be further yeah. up, so maybe. In the middle, in the middle at least. Yeah. <laughs> put yourself where you think I'm you might fit. I just, I feel like, here, here's good. <laughs> okay, 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 somewhere in the middle. The group Maybe will now discuss about, their like, early experiences. Status. Are you guys in a relationship or married or, you know? Mm -hmm. I am single. I have a couple side pieces, okay. but. <laughs> Look at it, see I me. So I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I can see her right here, Nikki, Sydney, and a girl in the black. I can see them having some side pieces out here doing their thing. I see it, I see it, I respect it, I respect it. And my longest relationship would have to be three or four years. She will like I'm single, anchor. I haven't been in one for a little while, I'd say. Mm. I'm married and I've been with him for eight years. So, uh, I haven't been married for eight years. I've been together with together? my husband for eight years. I'm married uh, and I've been with him four years. Okay. Uh, yeah, I hadn't dated anybody longer than a year. Yeah. Until I met my husband. Sheesh. I am in the longest relationship I've ever been in now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been together for around a year and a half. Okay. I want to put you ahead of me because you've been in a relationship for eight years. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, like, that's true. Like, that's true. They can be a starting point, but of course, like that doesn't like dictate everything in terms of losing your virginity. That's so true. that's true. I feel like I want to move myself. Am yeah, I okay I to do that? I kind of want to switch with you. Yes. I feel like I'm I, the most yes. unstable in my relationships, so. <laughs> Do you guys feel like you had an adequate sexual education? My parents talked to me about it. Yo, before. you know what's oh, crazy, man? I'm gonna give y'all a little education about me, man. I'm, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start giving y'all more little stories about Cam, man. Look, bruh, I didn't really get taught too much about sex growing up. I really didn't. Nobody didn't teach me about sex. When I would come back here to visit, cause I'm, if y'all watch, you know I stayed in Baltimore. I'm from South Carolina though, but when I would come back to visit South Carolina, my brother would be like, hey man, you been fucking mad? I'd be like, oh shoot. It'd pop up in my head like, oh day, yeah. Go do something. But it ain't never like, as a kid, it didn't really done on me like that. I don't know why. I do not know. I guess I was just a kid living in the kid world. I was thinking like, get girls i was always getting girls but like i wasn't thinking like go fuck on something man i don't know what it was I don't know what it was um share with me in sixth grade you know in school did your 
parents talking about sex wrong. or did you find out from a sibling or from a peer? Or I learned about it at school and through my friends' experiences as well. Yeah. I was around 11 or 12. My mom gave me a book about puberty and everything and was saying, if you have any questions, just let me know. My parents my did mom not tell me about to sex. Me about I'm it when just I was now eight, talking about my mom about sex a little bit. In middle school, I really grasped it because of the internet. So. Internet I think definitely I had teach an adequate sexual I education to between school internet, and my yeah. mom was really religious, so she was like, "Wait till marriage." I was really young, I guess, compared to the group. I was in like maybe second grade, and one of my best friends in elementary school told me about sex, and her parents were very open with her about sex, so she like told me in graphic detail everything, and I was really. Uh, fascinated by it, but also would pray every night for years that God would make me forget what it was because I felt really bad about knowing what it was. Horny information. <laughs> yeah, I remember being grossed out. I asked my mom, like, you do this with dad? And she's like, yeah, once a week. And I was my just like, told oh, her I that. Nah, dad. that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I couldn't see my parents telling me that. Nah, that's wow. I don't want to know about y'all having sex, man. That ain't my business. It's not. You can teach me about it, but don't. My parents didn't even really teach me about sex, though. I'm just now talking to my parents about that. <laughs> I told my mother the other day, she was like, yeah, I know you be, yeah, I was like, oh, that ain't yeah, you know what I do, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, based on the fact that you had, like, confusing mixed signals about sex, uh -huh. I would say, I don't agree with y'all's position in general, so I think you should be all the way at the end. Okay. I do feel like it, yeah. I don't think I'm allowed to ask this, but has anyone ever felt like there was a time in life where they were afraid to have sex? I was afraid. Being I think everybody feel like that. To somebody, I think everybody feel like that. So, yes. You know, people would tell me like Everybody the different stories and like how much it hurts, and mainly it was like a physical fear. Whether it's male or female. Yeah, I definitely agree that I was afraid more afraid of it not meaning to Man them what it woman. meant to me. I was never, ever, ever afraid to have sex. I wanted to have it as soon as I found out what it was. I think so I'm gonna like scoot down a little bit. Yeah. I feel her though, I feel her. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Once I found out, I was in the dough. So I found out, I was trying, hey. Try to get it, get it, get it while I fit in, shoot. Hey. Like, hey, little bros, big bros too, y'all know what I'm saying though, look, 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 I wasn't educated, but then once I started getting a little educated, I was like, shit, we about to go see what's up, we about to go see what's out there, I'm trying to Did a lot of y'all grow up religious? I'm Christian. I did. I didn't grow up Christian, but I became Christian. I grew, I grew up as a dancer, but I'm so not. I'm not sexualized. So obviously, when I dance, I I'm telling a story and God, the clothes I, I like wear, I feel like I like to embrace myself. that femininity about me. I, I keep God with now. me at all yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah. I grew up Mormon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Even though I grew up Christian and still am Christian, I didn't. I never felt like sex was damned. Even masturbation was presented, I remember, in a Sunday school class as like being... Hey, now, little bros, big bros, listen, big sis, I'm about to get y'all an education on masturbation. Me personally, as I grow older, I don't really mess with it like that. It's like, it's just, it's just weird and uncomfortable. It ain't uncomfortable, but it's just like, I don't know, as you get older, I don't know about y'all, but me, I think about it like... Why am I doing this? Why? Ah, it's over with. You get the you get to down yourself. Like you get talking to yourself, saying, "Why did you do that?" Nasty. You nasty. But now nah, though, ain't nothing wrong with it if you want to do it. But as I grow older, I, I can't do it no more though. I can't do it. But. When I was a kid, I was going crazy. Optional, I was going crazy. You know, being okay. I was told something <laughs> that was really triggering to my uh, OCD. In church, mm -hmm. I was told that masturbating. Ain't that wrong um, with it, though? 
sorry, that masturbating's wrong because it means that your partner means less to you. Whoa. That you're like stealing pleasure from them. What? And it's like sad because, you know, like I've loved my partners. Yeah. That's not true. So. You know, it, in a way, if you don't have a partner, it's like, well, uh, what are you supposed to do with yourself then? So it's yeah, something I'll that I had you. explored previously. If you want to go have and, fun, have fun. Um, as a Christian, I personally don't really believe that I should be doing that, so it's something that I try to avoid. Yeah. I never want to hurt anyone's feelings or come across as That's like true. mean or rude, and I think it's just a different view. It's a different yeah. value. See, I respect I have a her. Confession and Look, I've I never watched porn ever, and I think it's because I don't find most men attractive. I guess that mm -hmm. that brings up the question of like when we talk about having sex, are we talking about having sex? with men you know if penetration is losing virginity for somebody or if somebody's a lesbian yeah if somebody's a lesbian then it's like if you do oral maybe they would say like oh i lost my virginity that way right yeah. but i feel like it's more about the intimacy like you said it's like so how when did you break your virginity where do we draw the line there that's the, going back to what you were saying and break i love the i heard you say that earlier break your virginity like so yeah break your virginity so in Australia, we call it breaking virginity. I think okay, breaking break my it. virginity is more break intense. Be hard. So I, I feel it really fits my story. Yeah, losing isn't so hardcore. I have a yeah. question. Were you guys What's your um, question? popular growing up? Um, no. <laughs> hey man, can I give y'all another story time with Cam, man? I can give y'all another story time. You know, growing up, it's like, I okay, we get it. We get it, Cam. You grew up in Baltimore, man. We get it. But look, nah, though, look. Growing up, it was kind of weird because I was up there by myself a lot. Like, my siblings got to stay down here in South Carolina. So, like, man, that's cool. Like, I had to figure out, like, how to fit in where I fit in. But, like, going to school over the years, like, most of the people would follow me from elementary to middle to high. Like, it, it, it was cool. So I always had friends there, but like, looking back at it, I always wonder was I a popular kid? I was low key a popular kid, only because I was cool with everybody. So like, that kind of gave me, and I was from down south, and I'm from Greenville. So like, I'm a kid from South Carolina up north, man. Everybody like, oh, that's a country kid. He chill, cool dude. He be chilling. He got a little, he got a little. He be putting it on sometimes. I just did my ass. Hey, I'm cool. I'm cool with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you got to fit in where you fit I was in. I popular though. at school, I think, because I was a dancer. and You look like you were popular. Um, <laughs> you got, like, the blonde and the, the hair, hair. Yeah. the curly hair. I was more of, like, a, like academic jock. But still, I never felt like I measured up to, like, the, the super popular crowd. <laughs> I think in regards to your story about how popular you were athletically, you know, you get to know a lot of people and be more social. Yeah. I think you and I should switch spots, okay? Yeah, true. I was definitely a partier in college and I started- She seemed like she was school. partying. It's definitely mostly to fit She seemed like she was turning up. made that you seem really confident and I've been observing you and I totally think that's true. I kind of want to put you between uh, me and her. Okay. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me. Um, has anybody has in the group taken somebody's virginity? I know I've taken one person's virginity. Oh. I didn't like it. <laughs> I tried it is weird. that situation, so if someone didn't tell me that, I wouldn't know. It uh, it actually happened to me pretty recently. I had taken somebody's <laughs> okay. virginity. Okay, hey, see, According it. to them, it was a really good experience. I still feel like you're down here somewhere, though. <laughs> yeah, put her, like put her up there. Yeah, 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 this story, like put her up there. That we have to watch. Yeah. She's sneaky, she, she, when she, she, she's sneaky with it. you all lost your virginity, it. was it to somebody who was also a virgin? Yeah. No. No. Mm -mm. No. 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 I'll piggyback off of that one. Did they know that you were a virgin? Yeah, mine did. Uh, mine too. Yeah, mine knew. Mine knew. Mine didn't. <laughs> hmm. Okay, you two switch for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you were trying to bag one. You know what I mean? Like, get it over with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to respond to that right now. Yeah, <laughs> we'll yeah that was true. That was You're true. too far down. 
Where should I go? In between these dresses. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think you're ahead of me. So uh, I would uh, like uh, to put you uh, I like way ahead a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like yeah. you should go ahead uh, though. I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure. I you seem curious, I feel like you. I like maybe. black hair yeah, too. Maybe yeah. 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 All black, all I guess black. since the spot's yeah. empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they not even my speed. Hey but. good humans, we know that conversations around sex and intimacy can be difficult, mm -hmm. especially for beginners. Yeah. That's why we're taking a quick moment to give a shout out to our partner Lilo for sponsoring this video Lilo. and for being a leading luxury pleasure brand that advocates for self-care. Lilo is an advocate for breaking taboos and removing Don't stigma when Lilo, it comes to sexual man. pleasure. You'll see that with their luxury products like the Cela Cruise. Cela Cruise is a sonic massage specifically designed for sex toy beginners. With Cela Cruise, you can follow your senses and find out what feels good at your own pace. By incorporating cruise technology, it provides a more controlled like pleasure that. journey, encouraging you That's to be more really in the really? moment and pay attention to all your body sensations. We invite you to check out Cela Cruise by Lilo man. and use promo code Jubilee at checkout. And now, let's get back to the episode. And now they will be so the great. Deanna. Okay. In the sixth spot, Sydney. Hmm. I In can see that. In the fifth spot, Christina. Hmm. I can wow. see that. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm those some baddies. Um. In the fourth spot, Stephanie. Mm. So in the third spot, Sarah. Stephanie tricked this. In the second spot, Nikki. And in the first spot, Amanda. Oh. <laughs> I like that. I like so that. What's the tale? I like that. I was 15. Up. My friend wanted to lose her virginity, so she was talking to this guy, and she was like, "Oh, he always has this friend with him. So can you like come and hang out?" And like, yeah. I ended up liking him. He took his mom's van. <laughs> And Whoa. we all went to the woods. I lost my virginity listening to Pretty Ricky with my friend and his friend watching Can us. Can I get a little so. closer, baby? <laughs> I want to get to know you, lady. And I really wanted to lose my 16? virginity. And I Damn, I was late. Like, oh, that was cute. We went to homecoming together, and then we kind of snuck away and went back to his parents' house, and we did it upstairs. I, I can see that. And I was having a sleepover with my then guy best friend. So one night he told me he loved me. Whoa. And we were just like kissing and I was he like, hit it in. I feel intuitively right about I was 19 now. too. And now we've been together for like a year and a half, so. I lost Aww. my virginity at 22. I lost it to my current husband on our wedding night. Oh my god. Aww. And we waited eight cute. years to do it. Like everyone was like, oh, are you are you like beautiful, pumped? Are you so excited? Like it's the night. Obviously, like pretty expressive about like, oh my gosh, really excited for the wedding. Multiple yeah, reasons. One reason being able to have sex, right? I lost mine at 22. It was from a person who I got into a relationship with over a dating app. One night when we were at his place just cuddling and watching a movie. We talked about it a little bit more, and I felt ready then. So oh, I was 28 when I broke my virginity. Okay, so I waited okay. my whole life for that special somebody. And it wasn't for religious reasons. Like I said, it was something that I wanted to give my partner. I was wrong. So I waited, and um, I found out he was married. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Whoa. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, it wasn't the best experience you dirty for dude. me. So now I you have dirty, dirty trust dude. issues. Yeah. Um, I was 41. Why you when I uh, lost my virginity to the man that I'm now married to, Aww. I'm 45. So I, I literally dated over 100 guys. Part of it was like, oh, I wasn't finding the right guy, but most of it was because I was chasing like unavailable men. That's I mean, dope that she waited that long, island. man, because most people don't have the patience to wait that long, man. Shoot, I was 19. Hey, you get in where you fit in. <laughs> but nah, look, man. As you grow older, you you learn that sex is important, especially when it comes to relationships and marriage. But it ain't really all that. You got to get somebody. You got to get to know somebody. I ain't gonna say it ain't all that. It is. It is. Trust me. It is. <laughs> but look, you got to get to know somebody mentally, physically. Especially, because look, man, 
it's a connection right there. You sharing energies with each other. So look, just know what you're getting into sometimes. Called Huihini okay, from yourself. Polynesia. Had sex in a bungalow and he brought along these little um, sex cards, you know, like different sex positions to try out. So it was yeah. playful and tried it several times in that day <laughs> and figured out what worked. And okay. he did propose okay. a couple days later. Oh, so and here we that's are. cute. Wow. That's beautiful. So many people carry unnecessary shame about yep. losing their virginity too late or too early, and there's no it, right yeah. time objection. Hey, hey, little bros, big bros, little sisters, big sisters, especially the little ones. When it, when the time happens, it happens. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. If you got it, it's, that's precious. If you got it, cause look, hey, you got some filthy people out here. Nasty people out here. Some of the people you don't want to get involved with. But nah, you gotta protect yourself. But nah, though, when the time happens, do it respectfully. And if you want to do it again after that, do it. And if you want to do it again after that, do it. Ain't nobody shaming you. And if you want to wait, wait as long as you want to wait. My sisters and my brothers. Don't rush it. Don't force it. Take your time. People judging you? Boke them. Get on up out of here. But look, take your time. Be patient with yourself. Actively. But I think there is a part of sexual empowerment too where you can draw your own boundaries and you don't yeah. feel like you have to owe anybody sex. That's true. What I was looking for was a committed and loving relationship and it's hard. It's really hard to find that out there. It's and fact, that's it's hard to for, find some love. Give up. Final thoughts? Mm, have sex. Yeah. <laughs> have sex yeah, have, have, have it when you can have it, though. I my best friend. Have it when you can have it. I like I would say, it. given my the situation, people probably assumed. Definitely told my mom. Yeah, we definitely assumed. I told my mom. I, I definitely haven't told my mom, but <laughs> <laughs> mom, no. See y'all in the next video.